What's going on guys? What's happening? What's going on? Give me some good news. Um, hello, welcome to my first uh, kind of screen recording tutorial vibe. This is um, a tutorial where I'm going to go through kind of my basic process of going from um, my Canon 5D images, which I capture all the way through uh, my workflow through Lightroom and um, how I get my images from my computer onto my iPhone and then how I edit them on my iPhone ready for Instagram. So without further ado, let's jump into Lightroom and take a look at some images. Lately I've been in Canada, I've been very lucky. Um, I got shown around Canada for a couple of weeks um, a few months ago. We did our British Columbia and Alberta and then I went back and did Ontario uh, Toronto is fantastic and as you can see we visited Niagara Falls so Niagara Falls is a very visual area and I wanted to capture some nice Instagrams we did a boat ride as you can see and I took way too many photos I kind of overdid it a little bit um, but I was snapchatting and filming and vlogging and all sorts so um, it was a bit rushed but Let's just jump straight into one of my favourite photos that I've kind of already picked out based upon a few things. Now, we didn't have sun on this day, there was no sun, um, so there's no rainbows, uh, but it is a really kind of nice moody setting um, and my images have come out quite nice and sharp. I was shooting on a Canon 5D Mark III with, as you can see here, 35mm 1.4 L-series Canon lens. Um, ISO 100, f3.2, so it's not super shallow, um, and pretty fast shutter speed going on there as well to capture the seagulls in flight. Um, so, this is a raw file that I shot in, um, and we're working on a digital negative here. So, let's jump straight into develop. And first thing I like to do is I just press R, um, and I go one by one, crop, and I look for that square Instagram crop there. Um, and I, I know that this guy here is a main feature and this is obviously a main feature here. So I need to get these two in, in relation to each other nicely. So this is obviously too far this way, too much rock, too much sky. And I'm thinking that that is just about right there. Just hit enter, because I quite like these little dudes here just scruffling on the edge. I underexpose most of my images because it's easier to bring out, as you can, as I can demonstrate here, the shadows, if I bring the shadows up they come up nicely, um, whereas if you overexpose an image it's difficult to save the highlights um, and I like my pictures to be quite moody and set the scene that way. So, um, But with this picture, because I've underexposed it, I'm just going to bring the exposure up a little bit there. Okay, the image right now is looking pretty flat, so what I'm going to do is um, bring the clarity up here, which is a really great tool that I love to use, and it really pulls out the detail in the water. If you look at the waterfall there, it kind of goes quite flat and a bit grey, and even the actual river pulls out the detail really nicely, so I'm going to put that all the way up there. I love doing that when I'm shooting any kind of water. Um, I'm going to bring the vibrance up as well, because Look at the water now, it's so blue, it's delightful, lovely. And saturation, I'm probably going to leave the saturation just there. And that is literally all I'm going to do in Lightroom right now. Um, and what I'm going to do is go Shift Command E to export. I'm going to export it as a JPEG, limit it to 2 megabytes, 2000 kilobytes. And I'm going to export it straight to my Dropbox because I have a Dropbox app on my phone um, and so far this is the easiest way I've found for it to, to get my images to my iPhone. So I'm just going to hit export. Alright and that is pretty much all I'm going to do on my computer now so let's head over to my iPhone. Okay, welcome to my iPhone. Um, I'm working on an iPhone 6, I just got it, absolutely love it. Uh, the screen is fantastic for editing on and the camera is just a dream. So. Let's go across to Dropbox, and as you can see, I, this is a pretty standard feature of, for me. It's um, I love Dropbox. It's just fantastic for sharing images with your friends. As you can see, there is the photo that we were just working on, and um, don't worry about it looking pretty rubbish on here. 
if you go down here and click the little arrow, uh, save image. So my workflow that I use on my iPhone for editing my photos is Snapseed to start with, which is a great little app for free. So we're just going to import that last photo there. Use. Um, and I mean, everybody's workflow differs. Um, a lot of different Instagrammers have shown me different ways that they edit their photos, but I'm just going to start off with a click on tune image. I just go to ambience. And if you pull to the right, I'm going from left to right there on the screen. It's a great app. I'm just going to add a little bit of ambience there. Um, and then sometimes if a image is quite contrasty already I'll bring the contrast down I might do it on here just to just bring it down 10 um, and then I'll bring it back up in the next app that I'm using and we're gonna scroll across to detail add a little bit of sharpening just bring it up to iPhone standards and then go to you just pull up and down to change these and then to structure just add a tiny bit of structure if you go up into the little picture in the corner and press this, it shows you the before and after of what you're working with. It's just really useful to see your changes. I'm just going to click on the tick. I'm going to export, save to photo library. Okay, so my next app after Snapseed is ViscoCam, which a lot of you guys know already. Um, I'm just going to bring this photo in here that I've edited. And Snapseed, double tap and the editing process starts. So in the middle you've got the paintbrush tool and usually I kind of just mess around with a few apps but I've got a good idea already of um, the, kind of, the kind of filters that I like to use. I usually go through them just for fun anyway just to see what they look like. Most of them look pretty terrible depending on what photo you're working with but um, usually one or two pop out and you think oh it's quite good. So, LV3, for example, did not expect LV3 to be looking that nice. Um, let's go along to my favourite, which is Hypebeast 2, way too blue. Um, so I'm actually going to work with LV3 right now because it just looks great. And you could spend all day going through the different filters. Um, so then tap the little thing at the bottom. And now let's, this is where kind of the editing becomes quite unique. Anybody can just chuck a filter on there. Um, like I said before, I brought the contrast down a little bit, so let's bring that contrast back up a couple of notches and see where we're at. Um, again, another thing you must remember to do is always edit on full brightness because then you get a better idea of what the photo is going to look like on a computer, um, on the internet, and as well as everybody else's phones and devices, so it's always useful. I often play around a little bit with the temperature, but keep an eye on the whites because that's what really gets affected. That's too too warm. I think the temperature's just right. Actually, plus one looks quite rad. I'm going to leave it. Okay, next, my next go-to is usually exposure. So I always look see what it looks like when I bring it down a notch. Today, it's that's too dark. Really, I quite like it as it was. But I always kind of I like to bring it down and then go to fade here and then add a little bit of fade. I actually really like that. I usually don't mess around too much with bringing the highlights back. I mean you can usually it just makes the whites grey. So I like it to be a bit more, it sounds stupid but realistic I mean, in terms of the exposure anyway. Obviously with all these filters and everything it's not that real but I feel like it's kind of painting like artwork. If any of you guys follow Swopes then you'll know. I'll link her in the description. She's all about post-production and her images are beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this image so far. I think I'm going to tick OK. Obviously the final stage is Instagram. And look, it's an Instagram section. Whoa, that is weirding me out. Let's select our image. This is the before, this is the after. Click next, and there she is. Next, 
and I'm actually going to post this tomorrow because I've already posted an Instagram today, which is here. That's a Canadian Instagram as well. That's British Columbia when we're in a helicopter. It's doing pretty well. So yeah, that is my Instagram tutorial. There you go. Don't forget to go and check out my Instagram, which is Mr. Ben Brown, and you can see some of the cool images that I've been very lucky to be able to take in my travels recently. Right, dudes, I hope you enjoyed that little mini Instagram workflow tutorial that I just did. And if you guys want to have an opportunity to go to Canada and take some of the photos that I was taking, and better ones probably, then you should definitely consider entering their selfie swap campaign that they're doing right now. Um, all you have to do is take a selfie and do a hashtag selfie swap. And basically all these people have already entered um, and you go into the draw to win an £8,000 trip to Canada. Um, you just go on their website which is selfieswap.com it is linked in the description. You click on this swap a selfie and then you can upload one from Facebook, from Instagram or from your computer um, and then you are entered automatically into the draw which is awesome and then you guys can go and take some even better photos than me. Thanks so much for watching that little tutorial that I did. I hope you enjoyed it. It's obviously not my normal thing. I usually do daily vlogs and travel films called Visual Vibes. So um, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up and comment below with some suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see me do because I really enjoyed doing this one. Um, but yeah, I will check you guys in a daily vlog tomorrow. Remember to work hard, be nice to people. Try not to get lost or killed. Okay, I love you. Bye.